Well, the stock market attracted the attention of investors to close the week on a positive territory. The market appreciated by 0.91% as a 0.09%. And uh, Champs PLC was the biggest gainer as it traded above 1% of others included a coal bank, Transnational Incorporated, International Energy Insurance, Cavertin Aviation, and Omatech Royal Exchange. Led the losers list, followed by Prestige Assurance, very stars cap and universal insurance. And global markets over at a record high today after the European Central Bank cut interest rates for the first time in five years. And traders waited on the crucial U.S. monthly job data for clues about whether the Federal Reserves would soon follow. MSCI's World Share Index was steady after touching an all-time high on Thursday. Boosted by, boosted by frenzy for artificial intelligence, stocks that lifted Chipmaker Vidya's valuation beyond $3 trillion, Europe's broad stock share index, which traded flat in early dealings, on Friday had gained 1.4% this week, about 10% year-to-date. And crude oil prices steadied today as OPEC Plus members, Saudi Arabia and Russia, indicated readiness to pause or reverse oil output increases. But crude was still headed for a third straight weekly loss, on-demand concerns, U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude fell to sell at $75.33 with a downward price review of 0.29%. Brent also experienced a price decline of 0.25%, selling at $79.67 per barrel. Bonnie Light got an upward price margin of 3.32% to sell at $78.97. And for the OPEC basket, dealers are offering $78.39 with an uptick of 0.28%. That's business. Next is sports. Stay with us. Business lives on the fast track of numbers. Business is a strange world where low numbers mean something different. And its currency are speed and time. Finding the open doors of Main Street is not just good business. It's the start of the business. Join us every weekend on Business Week.